Good morning, everybody. Wait, I always get out of focus in this room. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? That is much better. I always realize the microwave or something gets me out of focus and this camera just doesn't like my face. Today, I'm gonna keep this morning very short because it, I feel like it's gonna be a big day. We're gonna tell you guys some exciting news. We're having a Q&A today. Plus, the Aldi is open today, so we've gotta go check that out. And yes, I realize I'm wearing this stained jumper, which, uh, fun fact, got stained in Utah because Beck, he left my jumper out in the sun for three weeks while we were in Alaska, but this jumper is just too comfy. I'm gonna keep wearing it, so I'm just gonna deal with this thing. Morning ritual to see if my parents have topped up the fridge. Yeah, what? Dad must be making his carrot juice. But, oh my goodness, shortbread. Shortbread, circle shortbread. Yogurt, yum. And don't worry, mom. Ah, wait, why am I in this room? And don't worry, mom. I've already eaten breakfast, I'm not stealing any of your snacks. <laughs> Yet. Hype is real. Hype is real. This is what happens when new things happen to Perth. There is a line. A line for Audi. I love how we tease that we're lining up for a grocery store, but then we line up. And it looks like it's like probably an hour wait. We're so close. We're in. We're in. I have to show you guys how hard the competitors trying. So they've got a famous person over there from the West Coast Eagles. They've got some mascot for Coles. They've got puppy dogs and they've got a cow. They're trying really hard. Just like Krispy Kremes, that was very much overhyped. The only good things there are the dishwashing liquids and stuff. They're really cheap, but I feel like the food is really like, there's not much choice and the things that are cheap look really crappy. So not really a fan. I think I'm going to stick to Coles. So Coles, you win. You win because of all your puppies and all your um, AFL footy players. You got me. You got me. Guys, I've got something so exciting to tell you. Oh, we are so Celebrating! We hit a million views! Oh, How cool is that? So excited, we cannot believe we hit that. I know. A million views! I know in YouTube sense it's probably like nothing, but we are so excited. We could not believe that we did it. Thank you guys so much for your help. We're celebrating with a little bit of a cupcake. Thanks for watching, all you million people! Thank you guys, this is so awesome. Really made our day checking that and seeing it. Mm -hmm. You're eating the cupcake already! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Cupcake? No. <laughs> we have come to the botanical gardens to play some mini golf because Jake really really wanted to play and we wanted to hang out with him before we go away again. But Steven is currently winning. Do you just get a two? Jake just got a two. He's going well. All right it's Steven's turn. By the way last two shots hole in ones. Didn't film those ones though. I didn't film those ones. So probably you're gonna get like a five for this one. Yeah well I don't have any like backboard to hit Go it. go go. Oh my gosh, don't tell me. Please, 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 please. Oh no. <laughs> nah. Strong. Alrighty. Pressure's on. Oh, two. By the way, we are doing our Q&A and today's is all about volunteering. So the first question is, what is our favorite type of volunteer project? And I'm sure you guys can guess, is animals. We love working with animals and the cool thing about volunteering is that you're able to get so close to them. You're able to get so close with the animals, you're able to help them out. It's really awesome, we love it. Go animals! Go animals! <laughs> If you guys do remember this place, remember when me and Jez came here and there were spiders everywhere? Did you forget Same that? Place. We did a Q and A here as well that time. This is the Q and A place. It is the Q and A place. Jake, we caught that on camera. <laughs> I'm gonna answer another question while I wait for these guys to try and get it in the hole. <laughs> that didn't sound right. <laughs> Becky, Becky Hillard asked two questions. Becky with the good hair. Becky, Becky asked, with the good hair asked. <laughs> best part about volunteering. It's hard because I feel like volunteering abroad is awesome because you also get to see a new country. 
Please tell me you got that on. I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to answer. Okay, goodbye. Wait, this is too distracting. So the best part about volunteering, well, I think the best part about volunteering, especially abroad, is you get to see another country while still helping, like, the environment or the animals or the people that you're going with. Also, of course, it means you're, like, giving back, working with things that um, feel like you make, like, a, a difference and an impact while you travel rather than just traveling. You know what I mean? And she asked us about what were the rough costs. Now, all our volunteering that we do is with a company called Go Eco they kind of like organize your volunteering for you so you don't need to go and find a place and stuff like that they pretty much find a place check it out see if it's good and then they let you know if it's like good enough to go and what you do is you pay them a fee and every volunteering place seems to be a different fee like I've seen some to be 500 for a week some have been like 2,000 for two weeks it depends where it is what type of animals you're working with or depends on the prices but usually that price includes your food while you're there your accommodation while you're there they will be there for you if you need any help and of course they found the volunteer place for you and some money goes also to the volunteering project you go to so the main thing you need to pay for um after paying like the company you go with is just your flights um but you can always like check it out but yeah a range between i reckon 500 to 2000 for two plus weeks yeah Alrighty, we are done just tallied up the score you ready in last place with 62 points why'd you look at jake it's jake <laughs> in second place with 56 points is me. I win! You won with 47 points. Whoa, I thrashed you. Whoa, and the pass score is 45 points. So how close are you? What did I get? You got 47, so you only got two extra points. I'm the reigning champion. Oh yeah, guys, it is currently 6 p.m. at night and we totally forgot to tell you the exciting news. We're going on a trip tomorrow. So, tomorrow we're actually going to a, another Australian state which we have never been before. Take a guess below and uh, you will find out where we're going tomorrow. I think someone doesn't want us to leave. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Aww, just found him like this. Hello, yes, we love you too, Bells. We love you too. Joffrey, you don't want us to go. We can't pack you, buddy. <laughs> Chillin' by the fire, I'm chillin' by the fire. Can you last minute cheeky hairdresser to do some braids for you? Yeah. Well, that hair pink. is looking extra pink. Yeah, I made it extra pink. Looking nice. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you guys, my um, cousin was invited to do a modeling shoot for Les Mills and Cleo stole one of the posters. If you remember Kaylee from South Africa. Proud of you, Kaylee. Proud of you. <laughs> it's going on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, damn. Mama, look at those eyebrows, mama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that. Okay, bye. Cl uh. What do you mean? See ya. See you um, after a holiday. See you on Monday. I came over in my road. Yes, I did. <laughs> She's watching. We've caught her watching the vlog. Nice and calm. <laughs> what are you doing? Hello. Hello. Oh, I'll have one of those. Anyway, we're off. We'll see you in a few days' time. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Can oh, it looks really cool on the big screen. Oh. Like the colour? Yeah, it looks so clear. Bye-bye. Oh, come. Bye-bye, Jess. Bye. -bye, Bye. Bring some souvenirs back. Why do we always leave everything up to the last minute? It is so late. Just finished packing and we are now just making dinner. And it is not dinner time. It is sleep time. Apologies if you notice that I have a very orange face at the moment. I just did a fake tan. So um, that is why I am an Oompa Loompa. I wash it off in the morning. I just wanted to quickly answer one more question about these volunteer projects because someone had a good question. Ocean asked, what is our, what was our favorite volunteer project? And I'm going to answer this as in like all time because we've done nine volunteer projects now. Hey puppies. We've done nine volunteer projects now and I have three favorites that I cannot choose from. Like three of the best experiences I've ever had. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can like smell my fake tan. Hello. My first one would have to be when we worked with Baby Sloths in Costa Rica. That was so awesome. So that's number one. Number two is when we were working with lions in Africa. That is equally as awesome. And number three had to be the panda project. It was incredible. I loved it. And not only for working with the pandas, but because we got to see so much like of China and its culture and stuff, I thought it was like a really well-organized volunteer program. Yeah, highly recommend all three of those. Yes. Setting up this bad boy. And we are off to bed. Travel resumes again tomorrow. We are so excited. Thanks so much for watching guys and we will see you tomorrow. Night!